set to Ackerman. If he's also in the frame here. Oh, it's Bora all the way to the line. Oh, you've got to be a good man, and Ackerman is. For me, just the victory is counting because I have won so many races already. So for me, a second or third place is not interesting. That was absolutely superb. You just have to be really focused and if you know like for example here actually there's just one chance but there are still like 10 riders who want to win the one stage so it's not always possible to win so the level is so high in cycling right now that you actually have to think about where is your peak and what is the important weeks for you so you, you cannot stay all year on the highest level. For us as a sprinter, it's still good because you can win races without the full level because sometimes you are just lucky. But a climber, for example, just can win if he is on a high level. So we are still lucky and we have to take every chance we can. The real sprint races are boring all day. Everybody is fresh in the final and it's a totally mess. And I need, I, I'm not, for me it doesn't matter if I have a five hours hard race or easy race my power is the same so actually for me it's more easy to have a hard race instead of having a easy race Cavendish in the front now he's still at the front coming to the line but Pascal Ackerman hits it as well Ackerman's there oh Milan Milan on the left hand side the riders from UAE have their hands in the air Pascal Ackerman on one side Jonathan Milan on the other and we're gonna have to look at the photograph it's Pascal Ackerman by a whisker who takes the victory. If it's like a full mess, I have the chance to win because then I can go early or can do a surprise. But if there's a race without a full lead out train, it's everything is possible. Not, not always the fastest guy is winning the races. After seven years in the World Tour, one race has eluded the German, the Tour de France. During his time at Bora Hansgrohe, Ackerman found his chances for a lap around France limited by the presence of the seven-time green jersey winner, Peter Sagan. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Hi there. How are you? Okay, I go. Ciao, guys. He was the main rider in the peloton, so it's also good to understand that the team wants to have him at the tour. So actually, I was jealous about not doing the tour, but I think if I have done it already I would have won two victories on the tour already on my list and now I still have to fight for it so it's still on my list to do and I'm still dreaming about my victory at the Tour de France. Ackerman will join Israel Premier Tech at the end of the season with the hope of getting that chance at the Tour de France. The German will be bringing his experience to a young squad but what changes has the sprinter seen from his time in the pro ranks? Actually, it's a crazy change from five years ago to now. That's not just the training, what was changed, also the, the life around. You have to calculate your food. That was something we have never done in the past. And also the training is really structured to the, to the races. I was never interested in what I can eat or what I have to eat. I just did what I wanted to. And actually now in UAE, I, I got teached how to take care about these things. Now you have to be serious and you have to get into it. And sometimes if you have a 18-year-old rider on the table, they know more about cycling than you. The power they push, I cannot. <laughs> so <laughs> that's one thing they can, but I still can say I have won already like 36, 38 races. You don't. <laughs> so I'm still lucky to can say like, it's not all about power and peaks. Yeah, I think for them it's also difficult because they, sometimes they come from different sports. So, they don't know how to move up in a peloton and for us it's so simple to, to move up in a peloton. If we have to be in front in 1k, we just go like right, left, right, left and we are in front. And for them it's really hard because they need a full team to stay in front. And that's a good thing for us. And also if it's like a technical final uphill, they can have a, so much power they want to. If they don't know how to take the corners and how to, how to save the energy, they are lost. Are you going to help them try? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I like it. I like if it. it's my teammate, yeah, but not if it's another rider. 